Honorable Ministers of AU Member States, Permanent and Principal Secretaries, Representatives of Government Agencies, Representatives of Regional Economic Communities present, Development Partners, Farmers, Industry and Trade Organizations, Private Sector, Distinguished Guests, and I simply say ladies and gentlemen, warm greetings from Commercial Secretariat. It is my honor to be part of the AGRF 2021, a flagship event that brings together key stakeholders, including governments, policymakers, development partners, producers, traders in agriculture and food system development space. I'd like to commend the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa and partners for organizing and inviting Comesa to be part of the AGRF 2021 which is focused on building strong food systems in Africa, and particularly to this session, on building strong food systems through inclusive data sharing that is being hosted by the Food Trade Coalition for Africa. Open data is necessary, increasingly regarded as important tool to address complex developmental challenges. For example, the agency and scale-up of the COVID-19 crisis has reawakened all of us on the need for governments and other stakeholders, including private sector, to open and share relevant data to enable evidence-based policy, support accurate reporting around the crisis, and inform inclusive social and economic recovery measures and investment. Gaps in the food system data have made it challenging to understand who the food insecure are, where they live, and the level of food insecurity that they are experiencing. These data gaps have left many countries unable to respond effectively to the food needs of their citizens during the COVID-19 pandemic. Data gaps worsened by a lack of collaboration and coordination among food system actors, service stakeholders, including governments, academic, academic institutions, private sector and humanitarian agencies collect data, but rarely are these data shared or consolidated into one central database that can be used to inform and support decision-making by the stakeholders. Distinguished delegates, the lack of reliable, timely and tra transparency data on agri-food systems is a pervasive problem that challenges decision-making for all stakeholders, including governments, farmers, traders, processors, investors, and indeed development partners. Basic data on food production, consumption, and balances are essential to promote not just regional food security, but also long-term inclusive agricultural transformation, regional agricultural trade, and resilient food systems. This is important for the realization of the objectives of the regional economic communities, RECs, and initiatives such as the Commercial SADC ESC Tripartite Agreement and the Africa Continental Free Trade Area, designed to enhance trade and free flow of goods within the regional blocks and the African continent itself. There is great potential for intensifying intra regional trade by building on localized comparative advantages within the region for selected regional agricultural food value chains. These regional differences can be leveraged to build the competitiveness of the key agricultural value chains and food systems. However, this calls for reliable data on production, on trade, stock, and consumption that is required to inform regional trade and policies for agricultural value chains and food system development. The world is rapidly entering into the fourth industrial revolution offering opportunities to leverage information and communication technologies for improved data collection, analysis, mm. sharing, monitoring, and evaluation. Distinguished delegates, to this end, Comesa, Agra, Development and Technical Partners are refocusing their efforts in addressing data gaps on the agro-food systems. Through initiatives such as the Regional Food Balance Sheet, that can, be lev can leverage digital technology to provide data and focus on crop production, cross-border trade, data aggregation, and dashboard development. The Regional Food Balance Sheet 
initiative aims to accelerate the application of digital remote sensing and advanced analytical te technologies to provide forecasts for major food commodities in the East and Southern Africa context in a manner that informs policy and business decisions on food security, agricultural trade, as well as investments. Using the user centric design, F our FBS initiative will inform data-driven decisions around production support, trade policy, stock management by governments, business decision making, and investment by the private sector, and food aid by donors or emergency response organizations. Timely and trustworthy food balance sheet data can help private sector actors to understand areas of comparative advantage and the extent to which production systems are keeping up with the emerging agri-food transition and domestic demand. This data is essential in showing surplus and deficit areas, thereby providing a signal to private traders, millers, and other aggregators to inform when and where to source, where to ship food commodities or other business and investor decisions. Comesa will collaborate with the key stakeholders to ensure that the regional food balance sheet activities being implemented maximize benefits to women and youth, might mitigate gender-based risks and create gender-sensitive opportunities. In conclusion, distinguished delegates, closing food system data gaps will be crucial in strengthening the food system that is vital to preventing a food crisis and enhancing regional agri-food trade in Africa. Improvements to trade data will further strengthen markets for African agriculture producers and consumers, especially as the continent strives to build back better after the COVID-19 pandemic. This calls for increased collaboration and partnership between public and private sector and civil society organizations in data collection, compilation, analysis, and sharing. We need deliberate efforts to ensure that the data information needs of the key stakeholders, including women and youth, are adequately addressed. As COMESA, we're open to partnership that will help us to contribute to building resilient food systems through inclusive data sharing on the African continent. I end by wishing you a very productive forum and thank you for your attention.